Hi, in the last video, we learned about a for loop. So, as we learned that once we run this, right, it will print out all the value. Right, what if I want to skip when it reached 7? I want to skip, I don't want to show the 7. Is that possible, right? The answer is yes, right? So, what you do is that you you check the value of r you using the r using the if function to check if r equal to 7 then you want to skip somehow you want to do a skip so um, in excel VBA we have this go to and um, but go to where right so you want to before it print out this this information in the worksheet right we want to skip this line just this one line right so I call it next line right you can call it others right so I'm gonna skip skip this line from here on so I say go to next line and that's how you use the go to functions right um, go to next line right skip this so now let's just replace this so I run this code now notice that it prints R1, 2, 3, 4. As soon as R increment to 7, it goes to this. It check R is equal to 7. Then it has to go to the next line without skip skipping this line, which is that's why there's an empty line right here. And you go to the next line. So R is now increment to uh, 8. And so on, right? It can carry on. So that is using go to next line, right? What else we can use is that we can also use the then exit for what if I when it reach seven, right? It's no longer loop. So I don't need the next line, but is that I want to stop it right at six. Okay, so we run this code. You can see that once it reach seven, it exit the for loop. That is the power of exit 4 and go to. And thanks for watching.